This was the scene Sunday morning in Mogadishu. Soldiers and civilians run for cover following a deadly vehicle bombing. And these are the remains of the explosive laden vehicle that was used to carry out the bombing at a busy junction not far from a police station and a security checkpoint manned by government forces. Ten civilians were injured in today's deadly blast and we lost five others. The attack wasn't targeting government officials or our forces. It is very clear that the militant group's target is a Somali population. Let's all join hands in this fight. Nearby, business centers were destroyed in the morning blast, ending a month-long period of relative stability that was marked by no bombings in the capital. There's been no claim of responsibility so far, but the attack bears all the hallmarks of previous Al-Shabaab attacks and has raised new concerns and comes just a day after Prime Minister Hassan Ali Qaire praised the forces for thwarting potential Al-Shabaab attacks. The Somali Prime Minister visited the forces at this joint headquarters that acts as a base for the joint military, police and tactical units working specifically to stabilize Mogadishu. <laughs> Everything starts with peace. We're on the right track and we know how our forces work under extreme conditions. It's the work you, the gallant soldiers, do that makes us live in peace and we will restore law and order in our nation. The attack once again has put Mogadishu in the spotlight once more and is seen as a response by Al-Shabaab following the PM's remarks on Saturday. But how that will be achieved for now remains the biggest concern for Somalia's security partners who've injected millions of dollars in a bid to rebuild the country's security institutions. A high-level security meeting was recently concluded in Mogadishu that focused on transitioning security back to Somali forces and a planned exit for the African Union mission AMISOM. Al-Shabaab continues to pose a security challenge for Somalia's new government that's been in place only for less than six months launching dozens of deadly attacks across the capital. And with Mogadishu insisting that it's winning the war on terror, it's attacks like these that prove otherwise. Abdul Aziz Bilo, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.